matter, Cubbins? We're being awarded the most improved junior high school, not the most damaged with a stepladder. So, when the Minister for Education comes back to his old school today to present us with the award, I want this hall to look its best, not like a bomb site. Oh, you can rely on me, Headmaster. Uh, I don't believe it. it it's back. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dear. to file. Oh! Don't worry, Sally. I've got the problem solved. I'm going to put an ad on the internet for an intern to do the filing for us. That was quick. Mr. Cummins, you're responding to the ad. What ad? I'm here because I need your services. The past has come back to haunt me. 30 years ago, when I was a student at your high school, a trophy went missing. I was skipping class one day when I discovered the trophy cabinet smashed. The BG cup was missing. Well, because I wasn't in class and I was found next to the smashed cabinet, it was assumed I stole the trophy. The trophy was never found until today. Now suddenly it's back in the trophy cabinet. So what's the crime you want us to investigate? Who really stole the trophy all those years ago? If the trophy's back, it means the thief is back too. And I want you to find out who it is and clear my name. Sally, this is our first cold case. Imagine the challenge of reopening a case that's 30 years old and trying to find the culprit. OK, we'll do it. Do you have... The names of the other students who were at the school at the time of the theft? Yeah, I thought you might want them, so I got all the school records from 30 years ago. But they're in a bit of a mess. Oh, just as well we've advertised for an intern. And why do you think you'd be a good intern? Did you say something? How soon can I take a holiday? No, you're not interrupting anything. <sighs> Ew. I'm not very experienced, but I'm keen, hard-working, I can type, file, and... You're hired. hired! I need you to sort these files to find out who else was at school with the janitor, so we can investigate the suspects one by one. I found someone who was in the same class as him, a kid called Bobby Shoebridge. Shoebridge? Mr. Shoebridge. Yes, Sally. We'd like to discuss a trophy from 30 years ago, the BG Cup. Oh, um, <laughs> yes, look, uh, I've just remembered I have to be somewhere important. We think you're hiding something, uh. Mr. Shoebridge. Oh, dear. The noble warrior knows when to face the truth, so I might as well confess. You're confessing about the trophy? Uh, it was 30 years ago. I was young and foolish and heavily into disco music. Disco music? Yes. Didn't you know? The Bee Gees Cup was for the inter-school disco dancing champion of 1978. Students from all the schools competed for this prestigious prize. Oh, I was a big disco fan as a teenager, and I was determined to win the trophy. I practiced and practiced and danced and danced, oh, but I lost. Who won? I don't remember. I was so disappointed the rest of that night is a blur. All I know is I put away my dancing trousers and never looked at a glitter ball again. <sighs> So you're not confessing to stealing the trophy? Well, no, of course not. I'm confessing to being into disco and being uncool. Imagine. Do you have any idea who really did steal the trophy? Or why they would return it the day the Minister of Education is due to arrive? No, it's a mystery. Maybe our new intern has established the names of all the students in the janitor's year. Then we can find out if any of them are his enemies. <laughs> I've sorted the files on every student from 1978. Good work, Jasmine. Dewey, you start on the students whose names start with A. I'll do the Bs and Jasmine... Oh, I didn't sort them alphabetically. That's much too <gasps> boring. I sorted them according to what animals the kids <gasps> look like. That's much more fun. See? A horse face student will go in the horse's file. A lemur face student will go in the monkey's file. And a student who looks like mm. an iguana... <gasps> All the best in your next job, Jasmine. What a mess! We're even further behind than we were before, and we still have no suspects. <sighs> It's you, 
useless. The cabinet has been cleaned and polished for the minister's visit, so there are no clues. And, of course, you remember the entrance hall. Oh, oh, minister, I'd like you to meet Sally and Dewey. They're two of the school's best students and junior detectives. Pleased to meet you. Are you working on a case at the moment? It's a case you might remember, Basil. I, I mean, minister. <laughs> the stolen disco dancing trophy of 1978. Uh, no, no, I, uh, I don't remember it. I, but I was more into sport at the time. Yeah. Yes, I remember you getting into trouble for kicking a ball in this hall. Shh, shh, Bobby, Bobby. Politicians don't get into trouble. <laughs> And what are you doing here? Priscilla Montague. And I'm here for the intern job. <gasps> While I was waiting, I sorted those files, tidied your desk, and made you a cup of tea. You're hired! We've been going about the investigation the wrong way. Instead of trying to figure out who stole the trophy 30 years ago, we should find out who put it back yesterday. Well, who might have noticed someone acting suspiciously near the trophy case? Hmm. The student who was decorating the hall! Oh, I put that big glittering cup in the trophy cabinet yesterday. You did? Why? Mrs. Marchipore told me to smarten up the cabinet for the minister's visit. I knew there were some old trophies in the storage cupboard, and that's where I got the cup from. I didn't know it was special. So it's just by chance that the trophy was put back in the cabinet? Yes, but it was deliberately hidden in here all those years ago. But who would have done that? And why? Well, the only student who has a key to the storage cupboard is the class delegate, like me. Wow, what a difference! Can you find out who was the delegate in the janitor's class 30 years ago? Easy. According to the 1978 class delegate ledger, that was Indira Gupta. Here's her file. The name doesn't ring a bell. That's because Indira Gupta was married in 1995 and now goes by the name of Mrs. Marjapur. Our, Our science, science teacher. teacher! You think I stole the disco trophy 30 years ago? <laughs> I'm glad to hear the trophy is back, but I'll tell you why I couldn't have stolen it and hidden it in the storage cupboard. One, I was never a class delegate, so I didn't have the key. And two, because I won the trophy 30 yeah. years ago. Ah. Oh. How could we have got it so wrong? We didn't get it wrong. It was the intern who said Mrs. Marjapur was a class delegate. Where is Priscilla? Does this mean I can have my old job back? Uh, not now, Jasmine. We have an important fact to check in the 1978 class delegate ledger. No, it definitely says class delegate Indira Gupta. Look! The handwriting of Indira's name looks like spiders, but the other handwriting in the ledger looks like jellyfish. Aha, uh -huh, right. No, Jasmine's right. Indira's name is written in a different hand to the rest of the ledger. Could it be a forgery? Yes, Indira's name is covering up the original name of the class delegate, which is Basil Postlethwaite. Now better known as the Minister of Education. So he was the real class delegate all those years ago. And the new intern deliberately changed it in the ledger to throw us off his trail. As class delegate, Basil had access to the storage cupboard. Why would he steal the disco trophy just to hide it? I think I know. And by the way, Jasmine, you can have your job back. Disco fever and the perfect crime. The SBI can solve the case in time. The missing trophy is no name. Great pleasure to present the award for most improved junior high to my old school, Little Bombay Junior High. Oh, hey! Minister, huh? catch! Oh, sorry. Sorry. oh it's, it's all right. Proves I haven't lost my football skills after all these years. Well, you've had lots of practice playing football in this hall, haven't you, Minister? Even though you'd been warned about playing football in here 30 years ago, you still did it. Then one day you accidentally smashed the trophy cabinet. If it was discovered you were responsible, you would have been expelled. So you made it look like a theft. As class delegate, you had access to the storage cupboard. So you took the disco trophy and hid it in there. And when Mr. Cubbins was accused and found guilty of stealing it, you did nothing to stop the miscarriage of justice. Oh. <gasps> uh -oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a fanciful story, Sally. I must say, you have a vivid imagination. No, huh? it's true. The finger 
footprints on the trophy match those on the ball the minister just caught, proving the minister took the trophy uh. all those years ago. <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, it's true. It happened just like Sally said. Look, I'm sorry, Cubbins, uh, for letting you take the blame. Please, let me offer you a new job as janitor at the ministry. I wouldn't work for someone like you. I prefer to work for my real friends. <laughs> So you're the minister's assistant? Yes, and when he heard you were investigating the trophy theft, he asked me to, uh, distract you. Politicians are very sensitive about past indiscretions, even ones 30 years old. Come on, everybody! We've just won Best Improved, so now let's celebrate! Check in the 1978 class delegate ledger. No, it definitely says class delegate Indira Gupta. Look, the handwriting of Indira's name looks like spiders, but the other handwriting in the ledger looks like jellyfish. Aha, uh -huh, right. No, Jasmine's right. Indira's name is written in a different hand to the rest of the ledger. Could it be a forgery? Yes, Indira's name is covering up the original name of the class delegate, which is Basil Postlethwaite, now better known as the Minister of Education. So he was the real class delegate all those years ago, and the new intern deliberately changed it in the ledger to throw us off his trail. As class delegate, Basil had access to the storage cupboard. Why would he steal the disco trophy just to hide it? I think I know. And by the way, Jasmine, you can have your job back. Disco fever and the perfect crime The SBI can solve the case in time The missing trophy is no mystery The answer lies back in history Great pleasure to present the award for most improved junior high to my old school, Little Bombay Junior High. Oh, Minister, huh? catch! It's, it's all right. Proves I haven't lost my football skills after all these years. Well, you've had lots of... Improved junior high school, not the most damaged with a stepladder. So, when the Minister for Education comes back to his old school today to present us with the award, I want this hall to look its best, not like a bomb site. Oh, you can rely on me, Headmaster. Uh... <gasps> I don't believe it. it it's back. <sighs> <sighs> Oh dear. How can we solve crimes when we have all this paperwork to file? Don't worry, Sally. I've got the problem solved. I'm going to put an ad on the internet for an intern to do the filing for us. That was quick. Mr. Cummins, you're responding to the ad. What ad? I'm here because I need your services. The past has come back to haunt me. 
many years ago, when I was a student at your high school, a trophy went missing. I was skipping class one day when I discovered the trophy cabinet smashed. The BG cup was missing. Well, because I wasn't in class and I was found next to the smashed cabinet, it was assumed I stole the trophy. If junior high to my old school, little Bombay Junior High. <laughs> It's, it's all right. Proves I haven't lost my football skills after all these years. Well, you've had lots of practice playing football in this hall, haven't you, Minister? Even though you'd been warned about playing football in here 30 years ago, you still did it. Then one day you accidentally smashed the trophy cabinet. If it was discovered you were responsible, you would have been expelled. So you made it look like a theft. As class delegate, you had access to the storage cupboard, so you took the disco trophy and hid it in there. And when Mr. Cubbins was accused and found guilty of stealing it, you did nothing to stop the miscarriage of justice. Oh. <gasps> uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, what a fanciful story, Sally. I must say, you have a vivid imagination. No, huh? it's true. The fingerprints on the trophy match those on the ball the minister just caught, proving the minister took the trophy uh -huh. all those years ago. <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, it's true. It happened just like Sally said. Look, I'm sorry, Cubbins, uh, for letting you take the blame. Please, let me offer you a new job as janitor at the ministry. I wouldn't work for someone like you. I prefer to oh. work for my real friends. <laughs> So you're the minister's assistant. Return it the day the Minister of Education is due to arrive. No, it's a mystery. Maybe our new intern has established the names of all the students in the janitor's year. Then we can find out if any of them are his enemies. There, I've sorted the files on every student from 1978. Good work, Jasmine. Dewey, you start on the students whose names start with A. I'll do the Bs and Jasmine... Oh, I didn't sort them alphabetically. That's much too <gasps> boring. I sorted them according to what animals the kids <gasps> look like. That's much more fun. See, a horse-faced student will go in the horse's file. A lemur-faced student will go in the monkey's file. And a student who looks like mm. an iguana... <gasps> All the best in your next job, Jasmine. What a mess. We're even further behind than we were before. And we still have no suspects. <gasps> <sighs> oh, it's useless. The cabinet has been cleaned and polished for the minister's visit, so there are no clues. And of course you remember the entrance hall. Oh, oh, minister, I'd like you to meet Sally and Dewey. They're two of the school's best students and junior detectives. Pleased to meet you. Are you working on a case at the moment? It's a case you might remember, Basil. I, I mean, minister. <laughs> the stolen disco dancing trophy of 1978. Uh, no, no, I, uh, I don't remember it. I, but I was more into sport at the time. Yeah. Yes, I remember you getting into trouble for kicking a ball in this hall. Shh, shh Bobby. 